Yo, what is up, everyone, and welcome back to another video on today's Wave Wednesday. Wave Wednesdays. It's lit every Wednesday. It's lit every Wednesday. 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 Alright, guys, I'm Julian. I'm Nick's Pops. And we're doing a, a Funko, Funko Pop, Pop review. So, guys, as you see right here, this is my whole collection. I have about 45 Pops, I think, around there, 43. And uh, it's almost a total of $1,000, so today we're going to be going through my collection, and Nick brought some of his collection today. He's got a bunch at home, too. How many do you think you have? I have around uh, in the 100s, including sodas, sodas, mystery minis, and all kind of other Funko products. So uh, I guess we could just get started. So Nick, if you want to pull up our first pop right there, you can go for it. This is Michael Myers, as you can see, from Halloween. It's uh, the one where he has his knife down. I actually traded this one with him. This was his one of his first pops. Yeah. And I got Reverse Flash because he bought me Reverse Flash because I needed it for my Flash set. So yes, that's Michael Myers right there. That's from the original movie. There also are other ones, as you'll see as we're explaining them, that they do make for like the other movies. Uh, right now, I was trying to get more of the horror pops because that's my favorite ones right now. So I'm trying to collect all those. And then uh, branch on to like other movies that I like too. But yeah, so this is just... One of my favorite horror pops right here, original Michael Myers. This is Cartman as a cop, so he has his cop uniform. I got it at a comic book store um, around Chinatown, downtown. And uh, in the wave, it comes with Chef Penny, Cartman, Human Kite, Cool Shed, Mr. Hanky, the Christmas Poop, and Rainy Marsh, as you can see right here. And he has his glasses, and yeah. All right, so uh, these are my two ones right here that I took off the shelf. This is Alfred Hitchcock. As you guys know, know he's a director, he's an older one, I think he directed in like the 60s. And uh, this right here is Psycho, the movie Psycho, it's Norman Bates. As you know, Alfred Hitchcock actually directed Psycho, that's why we got them together, it's like a pack. And uh, it's pretty cool, because I don't know if you guys can see, he's holding like one of those movie staff things that you hit down and you say action, and it says Psycho on it, the year and everything, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Those ones are cool ones too. I forgot to say, you will respect my authority. I'm a cop, and you will respect my authority. This is King Shark, and this is from the new Suicide Squad movie. He is voiced by um, Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone, yeah, from Rocky. And um, I'm actually quite surprised that he is a common in the wave, and he's actually going for already forty-three dollars. Yeah, these ones just came out, and they're yes. higher in the funk lap. Yeah. And none of them don't even have prices yet. As you can see, this is the back, and the ones that you can get is Harley Quinn, Bloodsport, Peacemaker which is John Cena, Harley Quinn, again, Polka Dot Man, Ratcatcher the Second, King Shark, Rick Flag, and then there's an exclusive to Walmart, which is Captain Boomerang, and then Unmasked Bloodsport, and then this is Super Chicken, I got it at the mall, uh, outlet mall in Niagara. Yeah, he basically has a one of those fencing swords, and yeah, and you can also get him in a soda. All right, so next up here, my two horror pops, I got Patrick Bateman from American Psycho, so we put him beside the original Psycho movie because it's kind of almost like a spin-off but not really. This one is very cool too because as you guys can see he does have the blood splatter on the side of the box there which makes it like unique and it's very cool. I believe it does come with a Patrick Bateman too with just him wearing the suit like no axe or anything like that. But uh, yeah this is a very cool horror one too. And then you know we got another OG right here Jack Torrance from The Shining. This also comes with Wendy his wife and Danny his son. Which, uh, you know, I want to get that too. And yes, Jack Torrance, like Nick just said, has a chase and he's frozen. Yeah, because in the movie at the end, you know, he freezes up. So they have one where like he's all blue, like he's frozen. And this is another one that's cool too. Kind of like the Psycho where the blood splatters on the wall and it says red rum, which is murder backwards, which is a significant part of the movie. So that's those two. This is the Michael Myers Halloween. I think this is the second, if I'm not mistaken. That's, that's uh, Halloween H20. So it's, uh, it was after, took place after 20 years from the first one. I can't remember which one it is. So, yeah. uh, and this is a hot talk exclusive where like he's more standing sideways kind of forward standways and same knife is downwards he's really cool and uh, this is the original leather piece a really really cool one I actually want this one in my collection um, really soon someday and yeah yep just to add on to the leather face the leather face is actually one of my favorite horror pops that I got uh, and I got him off a guy on Facebook and uh, this guy can go for about 60 to 70 dollars right now too so he's pretty good yeah as you guys can see it's from the original texas chainsaw massacre i really like this one this is like one of my favorite horror pops that i've always wanted from like the start 
And then now they just recently made the Hot Topic exclusive leather face right there, which this one he's holding a hammer, because as you guys know in the movie, he does also hit people with a hammer, but like the chainsaw, you know, the Texas chainsaw is part of the title. I wanted with the one in the chainsaw, me and Nick went and, together, and then uh, we both got it. Got, got this Same one at Jerry's Toys. He yeah. is a really cool shop, you should check him out. One with the chainsaw is going for 19 bucks. This one does not have a price yet. To yeah, because this um, Just to let you know. Because this one's like a newer one they made. They have one that's the exact same face and everything, just he's holding a chainsaw, and then they made this one now, Hot Top Exclusive, where he's holding a hammer. We wanted the one with the chainsaw, but this one, you know, it's kind of cool too. So, yeah, that's that one, that one too. And Jerry's Toys, if you're watching this. That's awesome. Thanks for, uh, you know, supplying us with a great collection. I got Barney with uh, Coca uh, Pebbles. I'm really happy to have uh, Barney because um, he is a vintage uh, character. And I used to have a Minnesota, but I traded those ones for other characters. And I still need the Fred, which comes with the Fruity Pebbles. And yeah, I'm really happy to have this one. Put them in a pop protector, same as uh, King Shark, because the ones that are more money for me my, that I have in my collection, I'm putting in my pop protectors. All right, so as you guys can see right here, this is the Friday the 13th set. Right now, I'm just missing one more with the one with him with the mask off, and his face looks all weird. So uh, this is the original one right here where he's wearing the sack bag, that sack bag Jason. I really wanted this one too from the start, just like the Leatherface. It's an EB Games exclusive. That's a pretty cool one right there, as you guys can see. Then next, it's this one right here, Jason Voorhees Hot Top exclusive from Friday the 13th. It's more of the recenter ones where uh, I believe there was a stunt, one, a guy who tried to copy. It's a Jason copycat. That's why like it has the blue stripes on the mask and uh, they made a pop out of that one. And this is your OG Jason Voorhees right here with uh, the original hockey mask and everything, which is a pretty cool one. And this one, I believe, does come with a chase too, right? Yes. With the face glows in the dark. Sorry. And same with the original Michael Myers, we forgot. That yes, comes and that with the chase. With the, uh, it's like over $500. Yeah, and then they even have one with, uh, it has blood splatter on his face too, right? The Michael Myers. Uh, yes. So yeah, these ones are a really cool series right here. I want to get the other one, obviously, without the mask. And then maybe, you know, we can go on to the chases, but from the Friday the 13th series, that's it right there. Okay, so this is uh, Freddy Krueger uh, from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I do not have this one, but I do have this one where it looks kind of like Lego. It's called 8-Bit, and this one is really cool. There's one where it goes in a pretty sure there's one that goes in the dark. There's one where... Uh, He's bald without the hat and has both syringes Syringe as hand. That one's pretty expensive too. Yes, and uh, like I said before, the 8 bit. And then, you know, on to our four ones too. This is another classic right here. Some of my favorite. We have some of the Chucky guys right here. So these are all from Child's Play 2. This is Good Guy Chucky. I got off a friend with the Hot Top exclusive. That one's pretty cool. You know, he looks like he's all happy. Then when you turn him around, he's got the knife behind there, you know, so he looks like he's a good guy, but really he's about to kill you. This one right here is another cool one. Uh, it's a Chucky special edition of him, you know, just like the cover of Child's Play 2 where he's like cutting the, you know, Jack in the Box thing. They made a pop for that too, so that one's really cool. He's really well protected in there. He's full of the plastic. And then this is the last Chucky one right here. Chucky on carts, another Hot Top exclusive. He's just on a car with the nose bleeding, and I believe there are some more Chucky ones. But... Yes, there's the uh, Walmart exclusive where he's like, all bloody yeah, and stuff like and that. There's Child's Play 3 with yes. the half place bloody, right? With the yellow box, yeah, that one's yeah. pretty cool. And then there's the really original one, one like, a, uh, that one's, I don't know if that one's worth a lot of money, but I know that one's older. That one's from so, the first one, I think. That's the series right there, which is pretty cool. Next is Hot Tamales. This is part of the Foodies line, even though it doesn't say pop. It doesn't say anything under pop, but this one's a really, really cool one. I also got this one with at the same time when I got Super Chicken, and I'm really uh, happy about this one. And I know, uh, I think I got on the same exact same day as when Top Pops got it, my favorite YouTuber. Yeah, all right guys, then right here, I got this one off my friend too. It's an Annabelle uh, Funko Popper here from Annabelle Creation. This is a Hot Topic exclusive, I got it off a friend. And uh, there are a couple Annabelle ones, I'm not really sure how many, I don't really keep up with too many of the Annabelle ones, but this one's kind of like an original one. It's pretty cool, you know, it goes right beside Chucky because they're both like haunted dolls. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Next is uh, Gruko, and, or I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I think it's Gruko, with cookies. He's holding like a bag of cookies, and uh, it's actually Yoda, baby Yoda. Now that's his real name, Gruko. And um, yeah, he's. Uh, I just got this one today. 
I'm really, really happy about it. And yeah. All right. So then right here we have, we have both Pennywise's, uh, the Pennywise series from it for the newer ones. They come with a lot of them. As you guys can see, this one is Pennywise with balloon. It says, I love dairy on the balloon. But then there's a bunch more of like him holding Pennywise with bow and everything. So that whole series, like you have to buy a punch for it too. But then this is the OG Pennywise right here. There's a little bit of box damage on mine, but it's a pretty cool one. Got that from a friend and uh, the coloring and everything just looks awesome. Nick has one of these too. Yes, I do have the same one. Uh, this is a uh, gizmo with 3D glasses, the newer uh, version. And I also have this one. I did not get this one that long ago. And he comes with Gremlin. And yeah, he's uh, he he's wearing the 3D glasses. And he also has a cool drink like he's at the movies. Yeah. All right, so as you guys know, Michael J. Fox, me and my brother are a big fan of him. Especially my brother, you know, the Back to the Future series is one of his favorites. And uh, yeah, Back to, the Fa Back to the Future series has a lot of pops with them. You know, this one's Marty with glasses. Then they have like Doc, they have Biff, then they have Marty like on the hoverboard, which is like one of the more original more, ones yeah. that are more money. And then he obviously plays Scott Howard and Teen Wolf right here, so we put them together. And uh, they and have one with him uh, with the um, jacket on. One. And that one's a uh, summer convention. Yeah, and Nick, uh, Nick has this one too. He got Scott Howard. But yeah, so the Back to the Future set has Marty 1955 with a skateboard, Marty with glasses, which is this one, Doc with helmet, Doc 2015, Marty in puffy vest, Marty in the future outfit, and Biff Tannen. So we got to get a lot more of the back. And of the I have the one with skateboard. And for this one, I actually got this one at a comic book store yep. for 10 bucks. Uh, this is Stanley Hudson dressed up as a samurai. And uh, this is the from the Funcon 2021 that just happened in the summer. So happy to have this one. And then next off, one of my last ones that I brought is Comic Book Guy from the New York Comic Con, one of my absolute favorites from my only New York Comic Con one, basically, from 2020. And I'm really, really happy to have uh, this one. I got this one for 70 bucks at a comic book store as well. I, it's called Heroes. You should check it out, and it's a really, really cool. Story. That one, yeah, is pretty cool. Nick got that one with us too. And uh, all right, guys, as I was saying before the camera cut, that one is like one of the better Simpsons ones, I think. You know, there obviously is like a whole original series of The Simpsons, which is like a lot of money. But then these are kind of the newer series that they came out with. But uh, that and one's they cool. also make trios of four. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. this year they make a new wave. And then, okay, so next up, we have these two right here. My brother's a big fan of Jaws. You know, the original, his favorite director, Steven Spielberg. So, you know, he directed this movie. And uh, yeah, I just want, I hope to collect this whole series, which we eventually will. But right now, we just have Chief Brody and Matt Hooper right here. It also comes with Quint, which Quint is another cool fi figure. And it comes with the Great White Shark. And it comes with the Great White sh Shark with diving tank in his mouth. You know, at the end of the movie, when uh, Chief Brody shoots it out of his mouth, it makes him explode. So these ones are really cool. Uh, Chief Brody has, you know, the bucket with the blood in there when he's like trying to feed, uh, he's trying to like uh, lure in Jaws. And this one, uh, Matt Hooper's just holding his bag right there. So very cool Jaws pops right there too. Uh, this is uh, Romeo and Juliet. As you can see, they, um, he already collected the whole collection. This is two. It's a love story and yeah, uh, it's a really cool collection. I actually want Romeo, to be honest. Romeo looks really, really cool. And Juliet, really cool with the dress. And yeah. And then, I don't know if it is a Chase version. It, I don't think it is, but they do make Romeo with like his beat shirt on. I think he has a gun in his hand. That one's a little bit more expensive. So I don't know which movie that and is from. I don't know if this is true. Maybe her with a different dress on. Yeah. Bob, so next up right here, this one. You know, this one I just got for fun. You know, I thought, we, me and my brother, we like music, hip hop, rap. And uh, Logic is, uh, you know, he's a pretty good artist. He has history with it. So, uh, you know, it was, it was cheap and, uh, you know, I was just like, why not pick it up? So that's a very cool Logic pop right there, if you guys know Logic. Uh, this is Barney uh, Rubble from the newer Simpsons line. And it comes with Chief Wickham, which I'm going to review in a sec. Gangster Bart, uh, Barney Rubble. Duckman. Itchy, it's the itchy and scratchy show. You'll say Homer and... Lord Land, which is a six inch, which that one goes for more money than three five dollars um at EB Games, but 
I don't know how much it actually goes for, how much it's worth. And then there's Chief Wiggum. Uh, he comes with a donut in his hand, a cup of coffee, handcuffs, and his baton. Yep. So the, and he's Ralph Wiggum's dad. Dad, yeah. So I obviously want to start with the Sim. I want to start collecting Simpsons one two after Nick uh, and he got that comic book guy. So I wanted to start getting the Simpsons one two. But yeah, this is a very cool one. He's got the coffee and the classic Simpsons pink sprinkled donut right there. That Homer Homer goes to get every day. The quickie mark from a poo. And then uh, Barney's really cool too. You know he's the guy who always burps because he's always drinking at most taverns. So he comes with a beer glass right there. That's very sick. So yeah, two good pops right there. And then another two great pops right here. This is the Wayne's World series. They have Wayne and Garth together. And uh, me and my brother both collected them both. So uh, yeah, they have Garth right here. He's got the drumsticks. Cause as you guys know, Garth is the drummer. And Wayne has got his classic uh, white guitar with him right there so those are very cool pops and then they do come together right in a collection yes uh, or, one of them has a hockey mask yeah i think garth has the hockey mask you know in the movie they play hockey together i think wayne has the chicago shirt on it's like they both have the hockey sticks and i don't know if they're about to fight or they're about to play but those are that's a very cool set there too so guys nick saved his best for last for his collection so check it out. uh scream one of my favorite horror, horror movies yeah and yeah, there's a TV show for it. There's the new movie coming out. I think yeah, there's Scream Five. And um, yep, so we got Ghostface. Ghostface. Yeah, so, really, really sick. It's very cool. I would show it out of the box, but it would probably take too long to to uh, take out and stuff. So this but is probably your is, most expensive poppy. This item. is my most expensive uh, my one. Collection. It was already two hundred two hundred and fifty. Yeah, over so 250 that was a very cool pop that he got his hands on i'm definitely working towards getting one of those too but nick got it right now which is very cool and it was a surprise for my father next up right here we have a four person collection i don't know if you guys can see this but we have all the austin powers figures right yep. here so we have austin powers with the blue suit austin powers with the red suit which Easy is a game exclusive, exclusive. Then we have Vanessa, and then we have Dr. Evil. So these three are basically the set, and then they came out with an exclusive with the red suit. Because as you guys know, he does wear the red suit in one of the movies. I don't know if it's the second one or third one. But yeah, the cool stance that he has, he comes with a little thing you can stick him on so he doesn't fall mm -hmm. over. And then Same. you have Vanessa and Dr. Evil, where he's holding his cat right there. Those are very, this is a very cool series too. So these are the Happy Gilmore ones, which is Adam Sandler. And uh, there's an EB Games exclusive. I don't really know how to explain this one. The only thing I can really explain Doesn't is that he has this hockey, hockey stick and then he holds it more like sideways, yeah. basically. Like he's weightlifting. <laughs> And then there's Chops, there's a chase with Chops where his fingers are broken. broken. Auto. And then there's Bob Baker and Happy Gilmore and fighting. Um, fighting. And then you can see there's the little alligator. So and you know, then, Happy. Uh, there's uh, ha um, Chubbs right Chubbs there. Chubbs right here. Really cool. So yeah, Happy and, Gilmore yeah. is a fun movie to watch, you know, so that's another cool one right there. And then right here, we have Josh Baskin from Big. If you guys know the movie Big, I believe it's um, Tom Hanks is the actor in the movie. And that's uh, where he makes his wish to become big and then he ends up being an adult when he wakes up. So the ones that come with this set are obviously this Josh Baxian. You guys probably can't see from there, but he's he's on the piano. You know that one scene where he's like playing the piano with the older guy? And uh, that's a very classic scene. So he comes with this one. Then he comes with the Josh Baskin as a kid where he's like, he's wearing his uh, button up jacket and it's like really big. And then it even comes with the Zoltar, which is a six inch. I believe maybe there is another Josh Baskin. I'm not sure if it's a chase, but Right now, I think it's just those two, and uh, yeah, those are cool ones. So there's Dumb and Dumber. This is Lloyd Christmas in the orange suit. There's a chase, basically the with same no thing. Hat. He's just with wearing... no hat, and he has a wine bottle. Mm -hmm. Same thing as Harry Dunn in Tux. Um, then no hat and wine bottle as well. We have the original and ones too. We have Lloyd the original Christmas. Lloyd Christmas, Harry Dunn. Lloyd Christmas in Tux, Harry Dunn in Tux, Lloyd Christmas getting a haircut, Harry Dunn getting a haircut, and then there's uh, Walmart exclusives where there's skiing. Yes. Or, one. yeah, skiing. Mm -hmm. And then, actually, if you want to just grab that right there, Nick, that goes with the set, one of the sets. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
As you see guys, I got this one from EB Games. It's one of the bigger ones. I got this one from Hot Topic, which goes with that set. It's the Harry Dunn in the uh, car, right? The What's it called? The Mutt? Mutt car, and you can also get Lloyd in the bicycle, which he was gonna get uh, get one, get 50% off, and yeah. they were the same price, but he didn't wanna waste too much money for his tattoo. Yeah, so uh, here is, yeah, so this is Harry in the Mutt Cuts van, which is a pretty cool one. You know, that van is a classic too. It looks very sick in there. And uh, yeah, he does come with the Lloyd on the bike, which is kind of the same. And then next up right here, I have uh, Steve from Stranger Things. As you guys know, Stranger Things is a big series, which they do have uh, a lot of Stranger Things, a lot, bunch from the OG, uh, a bunch from the original uh, episodes too. But this one is the newer one, which uh, he's at the working at uh, Scoops Ahoy, where he's working at the ice cream place Scoops Ahoy. This is a Baskin Robbins exclusive. This one can go for almost sixty dollars to fifty dollars because this one, uh, they actually have had a pop-up shop at one of the Baskin Robbins. They changed it to Scoops Ahoy, and uh, me and my brother went with my family to get some ice cream, and they were selling the pop there too. So that's a very cool one. This one is one of my favorites. We have two, and it comes with Hopper. It comes with Eleven. It comes with Steve. This one, then Dustin with the yellow hat. Uh, Will the Wise is another cool one, Max. Which Lucas. is the one I really want to get. Yeah, they have Erica and then Battle 11 where she's wearing the bandana on her eyes. And you can also get mystery minis for those. And I there is a ch uh, Hopper Chase. Yeah. There's chases that are for a couple and stuff like that. And I the one I'm looking forward to get most is uh, Dustin and Hockey Man. And Hockey Gear, Hot Topics. Yeah. The next one we have right here, I got it from Toys R Us. It's the Goonies. It's special edition. As you guys know, the Goonies movie. This one comes with Sloth, Chuck, Mikey, and Data, or Data, and uh, this is Brand, you know, the brother where he's always working out, so he comes with that thing like he's working out. And then they even have an original Goonies Wave, which those ones are more expensive now, those ones are hard mm -hmm. to find, you can't get them in stores, but these ones you can obviously still find, and uh, yeah, those, it's another cool series to get. Slushy Puppy was Julian's first, first pop, yeah. and he's also from, uh, he's from the I I Ad Icons, but I also call it from the foodies line because he's holding something that could be food or drink and uh, eaten or drank. And um, yeah, and I have the same kind of thing almost, but it's an icy bear and it's scented. You can get this one flocked and you can also get this one scented at Hot Topic. Hey guys, so I'm sorry I forgot my what if one that I just got. It's the Chella with mask because the box lunch exclusive is uh, him unmasked, and then there's a metallic one. But yeah, so it's the what if. You can get Captain Carter, Chala, the Hydro Stormport, which um, Captain America is in, Gamora, and Doctor Strange. All right guys, and last but not least from my collection, this is probably our best one that we have. You know, Nick has the ghost face. This is probably the best one we have. I believe this one can go for almost $100. This is Walter Wright right here from Breaking Bad, the one of him with the underwear, with the green shirt, and he has the gun in his hand. Obviously a classic part of the show. And as you guys know, Breaking Bad is debatably one of the best shows out there. A lot of people like it, and I believe they only made one wave of these, but they came out with like 10 of them. That's why these ones are rare to find, and if you do find them, they're obviously going to be $100 or more. So uh, this Walter White one is pretty cool. It comes with Jesse Pinkman. Then it comes with Walter White in the hazmat suit when he's like cooking the meth. And then Jesse Pigman in the hat has, hazmat suit. And then it comes with Heisenberg. That's another very cool one with the glasses and everything with the hat. Saul Goodman. Hank it comes with. It comes with Mike. Gus Fring. And then it even comes with Gus Fring dead, which is another pretty cool one where the face is half all bloody. So yeah, these ones are very cool collection. If you have them, you know, stick with them because they're probably very high in value. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah and that wraps it. up our video. Yep, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys one more thing. So as you guys see, I do have the Chucky Pops right here, and I ended up getting a big Chucky doll to go with it. You know, this is the Ch Child's Play 2, and uh, it's very cool. It talks. It, it, I, I forget what kind of things it says. You probably can't hear it from here, but... I don't know if you guys heard it. There's a couple other things he says, but this is a very cool one. I found it actually like a local store right here. You don't really find too many collectibles like these around. And what was funny is that <laughs> I kept on saying to him, uh, the one that he wanted 
was there for a long, long time, but <laughs> they ended up getting they sold. sold. So they had right when he wanted they it. They had the Child's Play 3 one because it comes in the yellow box. I liked it because it looked like the original one and the half of the face was like shot off. Like it was all bloody and it looks very cool, the detail they did with it. So I wanted it really bad and I ended up telling Nick, okay, I'm going to come back next week to get it. And Nick was like, no, go buy Funko Pops. Don't worry, that's been there forever. We go to the store a week later. I even texted the guy, DM'd him if he still had it. And uh, it was gone. All they had left was this one. So this one is obviously pretty cool too. Maybe if they get new stock in this Halloween, I'll end up getting that one too. And of course, when we got into the store, there was another guy who was also looking for the Child's Play one. So good thing he didn't buy it. I bought it first. And uh, yeah, it's just a cool little thing to add to my uh, little collection back here too. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys want, go check out Nick's channel. Pops. It's called Nick's Pops. Pops. I basically just review he, Pops. He reviews Pops. Sometimes, every once in a while, I will, I will review Lego, yep. but mostly just um, Pops. In my last, um, my last re uh, review was when I got um, Comic Book Guy at yeah. the Comic Book Store with so, yeah. them. His uh, channel will be in the description, so you guys can just ch click on it, go subscribe, check out his videos. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, obviously subscribe, drop a like, comment on the video if you enjoyed it, and uh, you know, share it to some of your friends. Maybe we'll do an update review and we get some more yeah. stuff. Maybe Nick can bring some more of his collection. From yeah, him. I will. And we can talk about it. I so will have to remember not to bring the same exact, exact same yeah. ones, but I probably will bring this one for sure. Yeah, that's a very cool right there. Probably the best out of the whole collection. So, yeah, that's all we got for you guys today. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. See you later. Running it up like a Wednesday. Texting that girl, you don't care what her friends say. Hop in the coop and I hop in the Benzie. Fuck all that shit.